Professor Capote? Are you sure Arlen was here, Peppy? <laughs> Weird. Why would he visit this Casanova? Look at all his fans. Need I say more? <laughs> Behold, the winner of the most awesome researcher contest. Mm, it's better if I don't show my face. Uh, see if you can get some intel out of him. <sighs> I must confess that I too was terrified. Petrified even. But there remained a light in my heart. A light that led me onward. That light was the happy smiles on all your faces. Ah, Master Capote thinks about me. Oh, it's you. Long time no see. Are you okay? You look troubled. That's a quite a wrinkled brow. Come, join the others and listen to me recount the tale of the Legion's invasion. I'm sure your memory of the events will dispel your worries. <laughs> the Antimatter Legion barely missed me, and that's when I saw your faces. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be standing here today. Aha! I see you no longer look troubled. There is only one word to describe your expression. Enlightenment. Such is the power of my rhetoric. It creates an energy that uplifts the soul. Arlen? Uh, yes. I, I know him. After all, my calling is to light up the heart of every person on the space station. As to his current location, then... Forgive me, but I cannot tell. Insert dramatic pause and sudden drama here. Everyone knows the most important word in my life is principle. Huh? Without principle, what difference would there be between a person and a mechanical arm? Wait a minute. Last time he said the most important word in his life was illumination. We need to update Master Capote's life wiki. This will be version 12.0 of his life keywords. <clears throat> uh, anyway, um, I do not lie. I, I can tell you that I did indeed meet Arlen recently, and I know where he went. Regrettably, I already swore on my life that I, Capote would never tell anyone Captain Arlen's secret. You don't understand what I'm trying to say at all. Crises, disasters, these are just mirages of the material plane. A person's character and the vows of humankind are most precious. They must be protected at all costs. All you see are the minuscule risks of the immediate situation, but did you ever consider that if I, Capote, abandoned my principles, then the hopes and dreams of hundreds of fair ladies would be dashed? I am their lighthouse, and I will never allow myself to be tainted. Oh, Master Capote is so considerate. Wow, the cringe is strong. I need to remember what I came here for. Seems like you already know what kind of person I am. I'm telling you, quit while you can. Don't waste your time and effort here. You can see that I, too, am quite busy. Seems like you already know what kind of person I am. Captain Arlen had a similar expression to yours when he found me. He was anxious and desired an answer. But answers are not easy to give. Besides, he wanted to master a trial of the heart that would thoroughly change him, and that would be even more difficult. You can't even imagine the difficulty of the trial. I was tired merely from the act of imitating that way of talking with him. 
<laughs> Thankfully, he... Aha! <clears throat> no more. No more. His words match Arlen's work plan records. Seems like he does have key information. I... I, I didn't say that. Uh, did, did you mishear it? <laughs> uh, what, what, what I said was, uh, life is a trial, and you need to be true to yourself. So, I know nothing about anything you said about Captain Arlen. <clears throat> um, I, I need to head to a meeting now. Uh, can we talk later? I can't let him get away like this. If he doesn't want to tell me, then... Uh, don't, don't joke about that. Uh, uh, promotions have a strict assessment process. I, I did hear that the space station gives special benefits to morally upstanding researchers, but uh, those are just rumors. Even the oldest staff have never witnessed it. Stop looking down on Master Capote! He's not the kind of person you think he is. Master Capote's Life Wiki, version 4.0. <clears throat> Master Capote doesn't care about rank. Everyone knows that. Even if you promoted Master Capote to acting lead researcher, he wouldn't tell you about the trial. Uh, in indeed. Yeah, I, I won't forsake my precious morality for something so base. How could you think up something so terrible? You're not just lost, my friend. You've completely strayed from the narrow path. I need to give you a thorough education on human ethics. We'll need to sit down and go over it slowly. No need to bother Master Capote. We'll fix this injustice for you ourselves. Wow, the cringe is strong. I need to remember what I came here for. They went through everything with you? <laughs> I I'm sure you reflected deeply on your actions. Well, I'll pretend I never heard the things you said. Think before you act in the future, please. Of course, if you haven't reflected enough, we can always talk more in private. Right now, I need to hurry to a meeting. I can't let him get away like this. If he doesn't want to tell me, then... Dare to utter such a threat? Listen here. Leaving aside the fact that you don't have the right to dismiss me, I wouldn't yield even if lead researcher Asta, no, if Madame Herta herself commanded me. I'm not threatening to kill me while you're at it. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I will not yield. <sighs> Master Capote is so courageous. We're so lucky to be his fans. He said the exact same thing when he promised Captain Arlen. Yes, the part about not yielding. It's making me tear up. <laughs> I'm gonna print out the transcript of the conversation as soon as I get back today. The fan club needs to recite and memorize it. Transcript? They've recorded Arlen's conversation with Capote? I didn't think a clue like that would suddenly pop up. This is the one who mentioned the transcript just now. Hey, you've been talking Master Capote's ear off this whole time. Do you want to join the fan club? Ah, I bet you do. You wouldn't have known about Captain Arlen's meeting with Master Capote unless you had an interest. You even memorized the internal testing content for version 12.0 of Master Capote's Life Wiki. You must be one of those super fans that stayed under the radar. Ah. <sighs> We've been careless. We're on the same side after all. Here, this is our latest welcome bundle for new members of the fan club. And I'll toss in an updated version of Master Capote's Life Wiki. Ah, oh, he looks really cool in the new limited edition snapshots. Arlen, 
Why did you have to get that sleazy Capote to help you with a trial? Yeah, I guess that's our starting point. This handwriting looks familiar. Is it Arlen's? Against the scorching sun, a beautiful flower will never endure. Within my fair embrace, my love for you is tender and pure. Yuck, so slimy. It does sound like Capote. Looks like a candid shot, but surely he knew it was being taken. It's autographed. There's a figure that's not quite in the shot. Oh, is that... Arlen? So Arlen did go to see Professor Capote. This is the evidence. Ugh, even the space station handbook doesn't get updated this frequently. Huh. Is this an audio transcript? So, trial of the heart means knowing how to deal with an overbearing boss. So that's how Arlen sees me. I need to talk to him. Let's hurry up and find him. Peppy, it's your turn again. and the security department staff. There are still remnants of the antimatter legion in the space station. Let's go help them. Closer to the stars. What are you doing here? Then be careful. There's still Legion remnants in the area. Arlan isn't here right now, so we need to step up the space station security. Spare no effort and stay focused. Yes, yes Brother Don Hong. Yes, he's with March, but I suggest you don't bother him. He's given himself a personal trial. Ugh, Brother Arlan's special trial? He's a man among men, a lion among tigers. He's already reached great heights, but ha, still he wants to improve. That trial, I bet it's even more intense than physical training. And Brother Arlen already challenges himself to the limit in that department. He runs 21,358 meters around the space station every day. An eagle among wolves, always so hard on himself. I think it must have something to do with the mind. He probably found a waterfall and asked Ms. March to lower the temperature to freezing point. No way. Brother Arlen's trial wouldn't be as simple as just standing under a waterfall. I think he wants to learn fighting skills from Miss March. They're not correct, but not wrong either. Arlan came to me to learn how to manage pressure from his boss. So I sent him to March. If he can manage her, then he has nothing to fear. That might be a metaphor too far. Brother Arlen runs like a horse and fights like a bear. I think that's a great metaphor. Arlan and I decided to switch our assignments. He went with March to investigate a suspicious crystal and I have taken up his patrol. That's all? 
He gave me a pass for access across the space station while on patrol. I found a broken ceiling tile. This mark? It must be from where Brother Arlen smashed it down! Move aside, what kind of clue is that? This floor tile I found is way better. Look at the footprint. It's the right size, not to mention the angle of motion. This is proof of Brother Arlen in combat. He said he read an anonymous handwritten journal in the space station. It contained 36 different strategies to do with managing pressure from one's boss. It also contained some information on trials. Firstly, trial of the heart. One needs to acknowledge the pressure in one's heart, and only then can one face it. Secondly, trial of the mirror. Like a mirror's reflection, one needs to personally experience the pressure others feel in a job in order to understand it. Lastly, trial of the self. One places oneself within that pressure to complete a transformation. I believe he came to me to complete the trial of the mirror. No, he didn't say, and I didn't ask. Brother Arlen doesn't need a reason to improve himself. You don't understand him at all. Brother Arlen is a fierce fighter with an eye for detail. If you don't understand his reason for doing things, maybe that's because you're too zoomed in. He's just staying ahead of the game is all. He's the space station's cold-hearted hawk. The security department's alpha wolf. If you want to find Arlan, just contact March. Oh, job pressure? How to manage your boss? Arlen, I'm sorry. I never knew I was giving you so much pressure. I need to feel the pressure he's feeling so I can understand what it's all about. Oh, there's a photo of Peppy on the pass. I got Arlen to look after Peppy because I thought they got along, but is that giving him too much extra pressure? Oh, maybe he printed out Peppy's picture as a way of forcing himself to remember his responsibility. Oh, look how smashed up the ceiling tile is. Arlen must have bottled up his frustration and had no way of releasing it, so... He took it out on the monsters. It's Arlen's shoe size, all right. And this actually came from a pair of shoes I bought for him. Maybe even these shoes are painful shackles for him. Yeah, we need to find Arlen quickly. I need to apologize to him in person. Peppy, let's get going. So Peppy can locate March just by looking at a photo of her. Is he really using a scent to track? about Don Hung being a true warrior or something. Oh, he did say that completing an assignment with me would help him complete the final trial. <laughs> it felt like he learned a lot from me. Then again, everyone has a lot to learn from me. <laughs> we were investigating suspicious crystals together, but he said it was all pointless if he couldn't transform himself. I could tell he was giving himself a lot of pressure, so I gave him a suggestion. I told him actions speak louder than words when you want to prove yourself. I was just thinking out loud, really. I had no idea what kind of trial he was doing, but when he heard that, he said, Mr. Don Hung was right, and then he just left. I took a photo of him. <laughs> he was doing one of those tough guy walks. Come to think of it, 
Maybe I shouldn't have left him alone. Take me with you if you're going after him. Celeron's internal fluctuations will cause a fragmentum to appear. Did Arlen? Hey, relax. I've seen plenty of Stellarons. It'll be fine. I hope Arlen is safe. The extent of the corrosion here is a lot worse than I imagined. Mrs. Hinkle did say the Cleanup had been slow in places. The Fragmentum has a big influence on the space around it. All this electronic equipment on the station must short-circuit pretty regularly, huh? This will strengthen our position. The Sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Yeah! You won't get away. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Uh, Lady Asta, you... Why are you all here? I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like some kind of new entity. It must have mutated after being corroded. Move carefully. Just a scratch. You won't get away. Rules are made to be broken. Nap time. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Are you okay, my lady? Arlen... I... Lady Asta? Why are you crying? Are you hurt? I'm sorry. Huh? It's all my fault. I've been putting too much on your plate, and that's why you looked up ways to manage the pressure. I... I honestly didn't realize that these things would bring you much stress. I just, I just want to say I, I'm sorry. My lady, I, you didn't give me any pressure. Arlen, you don't need to hide this from me any longer. She and I know all about the trials you're putting yourself through. If you can't forgive me right now, then I'll reflect further and, and find a way to prove that I'm willing to change. But my lady, Firstly, your trial of the heart. You went to Professor Capote and asked him to simulate conversations with you so you could better understand your boss. And the evidence is... Firstly, your trial of... And the evidence is... This handwritten fan reply card. This is your handwriting, Arlen. I... No need to explain. This is Professor Capote's autograph, all right. But you can't hide your handwriting. The way you join your letters is no different to your childhood diary entries. I... I did write this for Professor Capote. You're head of the security department. You don't have anything to do with Professor Capote. Why did you suddenly start writing his reply cards for him, hmm? Ah, da, da, da. don't go spilling the beans just yet. Um, this evidence is a bit of a stretch. Do we have anything better? This limited 
limited edition snapshot. This was taken by a member of the Master Capote fan club less than 24 hours ago. In other words, you went to find Professor Capote today and stopped responding to messages in the same time window. I... This is just... No need to launch your defense. We haven't got to the core yet. Uh, this evidence is a bit of a stretch. Do we have anything better? Master Capote's Life Wiki version 12.0. This transcript records what you asked Capote to help you with. Here, we can see a bossy manager and you being asked to do things outside of your job description. Clearly, Professor Capote is unlikely to master my speech or mannerisms anytime soon. Oh, but the content is the key here. I am the source of your pressure. Uh, my lady, I did speak to Professor Capote. And I did ask him some things, but they had nothing to do with you. I've never experienced any pressure with you. Oh, Harlan, won't you accept my apology? Huh. I'll just have to show you more evidence. We know the essence of your trial of the heart, and we also know that you asked Unhung to help you complete the trial of the mirror. I'm so sorry, Arlen. Until I spoke with Dan Hung, I never realized how much pressure was on your shoulders. Miss, I really don't. Uh, hold it. I have evidence. Your ID pass. This isn't just any old station pass, is it? Huh? There's a very important photo on it. A photo of Peppy. Lady Asta. I like Peppy a lot, so I, uh... No, no, Arlen. You don't need to find excuses for your actions. Oh, maybe you've actually convinced yourself. The combination of your simulated conversations with Capote and the entry in your work log about playing a hollow disc with Peppy, it points to one thing. Me getting you to look after Peppy is the greatest source of your stress. You, you even printed out a photo of Peppy to constantly remind yourself to look after him. I know exactly what message you're trying to drill into yourself by sticking this photo onto your pass. Arlen, taking Peppy out to play is an assignment from lead researcher Asta. You better throw that hollow disc like it's a full-on discus if you spare any effort. Lady Asta will find out and punish you terribly for all eternity. <laughs> My lady, don't you think that's a long thought to think? Lady Asta, please! I didn't do any of these trials because of you. I always try to complete every assignment you give me, regardless of whether it's within my job description. I really like taking Peppy out to play. Asta, I don't think Arlan is upset with you. But Arlan doesn't have any other bosses. Who else would it be? March, he asked to accompany you so he could learn how to manage his stress, right? What? Arlan wanted to go on assignments just to experience stress? Phew, good thing I let him go alone. My calming influence would have ruined his training. <laughs> Guess I made the right decision after all. What did he say? That I'm good at solving people's problems? Oh, Arlen, all I want you to understand is how sincerely I'm reflecting on my actions. Please, accept my apology. But, my lady... Stop! Arlen, I understood the level of stress you're dealing with as soon as I saw this photo. Didn't I take that photo? I'm always giving you tasks and assignments, but I never actually see how you take to the battlefield. When I saw this photo, when I saw you fighting alone just now, I'm just sorry that I gave you the stress of all my private affairs on top of an already stressful job. Please, forgive me, Arlen. Uh, my lady, I... I'm very touched, but I started this trial because of Madame Herta. What? Whenever she's back on the space station, Madame Herta assigns me things outside the security department remit. Even if I dare to refuse, I wouldn't know how. She's just too overbearing. Whether it's helping her test some new specimen, or 
looking for ancient documents I've never even heard of. Assignments like those were okay before the invasion. But now, I need to focus on clearing out any last traces of the Legion. Aha! So you're trying to learn how to reject Herta and then put it into practice. Yes. I found an anonymous handwritten journal while I was cleaning up. It mentioned 36 different strategies for relieving pressure. That's where I read about the trials. Yes. There were detailed notes, so I wanted to give them a try. I'm sorry, my lady. I didn't want to bother anyone, so I didn't mention it. So, you don't feel pressured around me? I've never felt pressured around you, my lady. All right, all right. It's all a misunderstanding. You two should reflect on your actions, right? Yeah. See, the two of us would never have misunderstandings like this. Uh, you keep saying that. What did Don Hung even say? Thank you for helping Lady Asta. And for coming to find me. You're welcome. Although if you really want to thank me, let me play Hollow Disc with Peppy, please. <laughs>